With a wealth of experience in marine civil engineering throughout the UK and Ireland, County Down, headquartered Ashley Contracts, have a long-held and well-established reputation of providing high-quality projects. These extend from coastal defenses and dredging to scour protection and underwater demolition. The jobs undertaken require a diverse range of specialist equipment, and that includes the largest in the fleet, a specially modified Hitachi EX 1200 XXL Triple Boom Long Reach Excavator. We recently traveled to the Isle of Arran off the west coast of Scotland to discover some of its amazing capabilities. Ashley Contracts acquired the excavator in 2018, which was originally modified in house by Van Leeuwen Sloopwerken in Holland. The undercarriage has been heavily reinforced, lengthened, and widened to give it an impressive footprint measuring around 8 meters long, with tracks that are 7.5 meters wide. Weighing in at 200 tons, it boasts a proven lift capability of 45 tons and a maximum outreach of 23 meters or 25 meters, depending on dipper configuration. The excavator has been proving its worth over the last couple of years, being utilized on the Aberdeen Harbor Expansion Project and the Alexandra Parade Revetment Project in Peterhead undertaking heavy lift duties in the placement of concrete sea defense units. Earlier this summer, it was fully utilized to demolish the remains of an old ferry terminal at Brodick on the eastern side of Arran. It was replaced several years ago by main contractor George Leslie Limited for ferry operators, Caledonian Maritime Assets Limited with a new two-story building including departure lounge, new docking pier and passenger access walkway that, incidentally, won the UK Port Awards Port Infrastructure Project of the Year 2018 and was a finalist for the Ricks Infrastructure Award, also in 2018. Last year, Glasgow-based George Leslie Limited was again appointed by Caledonian Maritime Assets Limited as principal contractor to remove the old pier structure, including the pier deck, support structures, and other deck furniture, such as bollards and handrails. George Leslie then subsequently appointed Ashley Contracts on a plant hire basis to provide the resources necessary to demolish and remove four circular concrete caissons, which sat up to 10 meters below water level and in places were buried more than two meters below the seabed. It was a project that required an extreme demolition machine and was ideal for our Hitachi EX 1200 XXL, says Ashley Contracts Greg Brown. It was transported from our yard to Larn Port, where it was assembled on the quayside and loaded onto a CW 655 meter by 18 meter spud leg barge, supplied by Coastworks, who are based on the west coast of Scotland in Fairley. Once on board and fully commissioned, the machine was then taken back to Brodick for the underwater demolition project, to be preferably undertaken during summer months. The caissons were broken up using a range of attachments including an Atlas Copco HB 4200 underwater hydraulic breaker weighing in at 5 tons, a 10-ton Mantovani Bend CR-80R concrete pulverizer, a TGS orange peel grab weighing in at 9 tons, and a range of buckets. Once the caissons were broken up, the Hitachi EX-1200, using the TGS grapple attachment, then brought up the reinforced concrete in chunks which were placed and subsequently further processed on a 30-meter by 11-meter flat-top barge. The material was then taken to Trone, where a material handler offloaded it onto dump trucks bound for a recycling facility. The vast majority of material was recycled into aggregates, while the steel content also went for recycling. Behind the controls of this modified Hitachi EX-1200 triple boom was K. Ron Manuel, who has nearly two decades of experience in the marine dredging sector. He says the excavator provides him with a comfortable working environment. It was his first time in this particular machine, and adds that he found it to offer a stable work platform with plenty of heavy lift capabilities. Working blind underwater can present some challenges, of course, but these are taken care of by a state-of-the-art James Fisher ProLec PCX Pro 3D GPS system, 
which shows the operator the position and orientation of the excavator's attachments relative to a target surface in real time. Indeed, seeing the benefits, Ashley Contracts has invested heavily in these GPS machine control systems across its entire long-reach fleet, helping to increase accuracy and efficiency when positioning construction material, such as rock armor, scour protection, bedding material, and concrete sea defense units, including acropodes, core locks, and X-blocks. The durable design and real-time progress monitoring feature of the PCX system not only delivers assured performance in harsh environments, but also allows Ashley contracts to capitalize on low tide conditions, thereby maximizing productivity during short windows of opportunity. The company's extensive specialist fleet features a range of Hitachi and CAT machines. These include a Hitachi ZX750 Long Reach Excavator, a Hitachi EX1200 Super Long Reach 120-ton Excavator, a CAT390, a CAT395, and a CAT345LR Excavator. All machines are fitted with the Prolec PCX Pro 3D GPS system and are currently working on a London Gateway project. Here, construction is underway for a new fourth berth at the DP World Deep Water Port. It is due to be completed next year, lifting London Gateway's capacity by a third, thus giving it more room to handle the world's largest vessels, more than any other port in the country. Since it was acquired in 2018, the Hitachi EX 1200 XXL Triple Boom has played a major role in other notable contracts. One such job is Aberdeen Harbor's expansion project in Nig Bay, south of the main Aberdeen Harbor where Ashley Contracts constructed a 450-meter length of the North Breakwater. The work included receiving and stockpiling 110,000 tons of rock armor predominantly sourced from Norway, building the core of the breakwater with 300,000 tons of locally sourced core material, constructing the underlayer armor protection to the breakwater, and placing 3,000 Acropode primary precast armor units, each weighing 20 tons.